about 520 now on this Friday afternoon. We've got some homecoming parades we getting do. ready to, to take off. We've got lots of kickoffs happen on high schools across central Indiana tonight. Yeah, or maybe do. just wine on the patio. That sounds like a great <laughs> evening as well. <laughs> feet up. Feet up. As yep. long as the feet up, you're good. We do have some scattered downpours that may rain on your parade, I guess, depending on where you are. Uh, or your patio. Or your patio, especially. <laughs> <laughs> Literally correct. <laughs> That's right. Uh, for the Wildcats there in Kokomo, we've got a downpour coming right into Howard County right now. We're watching this firing zone along this front, anywhere from Fort Wayne south through Terre Haute. And we're going to be watching more of these cells develop the next couple of hours. But we have some right there towards typical New County, Clinton County. You guys are getting some of these downpours to, uh, too. They're on the way, but there's Kokomo. We've got some new lightning on this cell and it's looking a little bit beefier. In fact, there's now a special weather statement. It's kind of one degree below a warning. We've got some 40 mile per hour wind gusts that are possible and also some small hail. It's already now reached the northwest side of the city there towards the speedway coming into downtown in IU Kokomo here in just the next couple of moments. It's going to continue to move to the south and east, eventually hitting towards Madison County, Alexandria 639. So here in just over an hour, we'll be watching this downpour. The downpour off towards the west, it's a little bit bigger, but it's a little bit more disorganized. But boy, putting down some good rain there coming into Lafayette here, hopefully soon here in the next 10 minutes, especially on the east side of town. We can maybe pick up some rain and then headed towards Frankfurt about 618. So we've got these scattered downpours and they're going to slowly move to the southeast throughout the rest of this evening, but they are going to be hit or miss. Not everyone's going to get one. We're in kind of this zone to watch until about midnight tonight. And a few of these cells will have the potential for a little bit of wind and a little bit of hail, just like the one we have in Howard County. There may also be some lightning delays with some of the football games. So keep that in mind, especially north and west of Indianapolis. These things are only moving 20 miles per hour, so they're taking their time. So right now, maybe you are headed to our football night game of the week, Warren Central. You guys are undefeated still. We've got Ben Davis coming in town. A couple spotty showers are possible, especially once you get towards the end of the game as rain zones slowly push to the south and east until about nine o'clock. The majority of the action will be north and west of Indianapolis, but generally throughout the evening and getting closer to midnight, that zone pushes south and east and then the rain should start to break up a little bit. Here's a look at future track 13. We're watching the cells off towards the north and west. They'll slowly meander south and east, giving some scattered downpours. Maybe you'll get some, but a few of us won't as well. So by about 10, 11 o'clock, a lot of these will start to fade and then we'll have quieter conditions overnight tonight. Tomorrow we should get a break from any kind of rain. Uh, mostly sunny skies it can be warm, lots of 90s out there, but then better rain chances start to return by Sunday. That's when a bigger system moves in, a stronger cold front starts to move in, and we're going to be soaked. We're going to be watching a lot of disorganized scattered showers and storms head right towards central Indiana. So Sunday and Monday and even a little bit into Tuesday, we could be picking up over an inch of rain in some spots. Sean and I have been working on a rainfall forecast. I'm going to show you how much to pick up here in just a little bit.